Well, unfortunately, it's the same thing that we've been saying a lot recently, which was it was a choppy morning session. We had news coming out. We have Powell speaking at noon today and the markets were literally just barcoding, meaning like red candle, green candle, red candle, green candle. True, true chop. Um, didn't see a lot of opportunity in it. I don't want to trade the chop. Normally, when I do decide to trade the chop, it expands out and I get stopped out. So I just decided to be patient and wait today. Took a few trades um, and yeah, that's basically it for my session. So please sit back and enjoy the stream recap. Uh, I go live every day, Monday through Friday at 8.20 a.m. Central Time here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and come hang out in the live stream so you can hear the dialogue real time and watch the trades real time. Uh, I am currently in trade, about to exit the trade. That's why I'm late. It's a two contract trade, pre-market vibes. Uh, I'm fine with going a little heavier pre-market, but uh, about to get out of this thing. It ran up a little bit more against me than I wanted to, but grabbed a top tick entry on my second contract, which is why I'm wanting to hold on to this. If I can get out of this first contract before the market opens, I'm actually going to hold this into the close. Um, if I or into the open, excuse me, uh, into 830. If I can't get out of this first contract, then I'm not going to. Um, it doesn't make any sense to do that. But this will be essentially more or less a risk free trade if I can grab uh, this first contract out uh, into the open. So that's what I'm looking to do. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I was getting distracted because I wasn't a trade, but See what happens uh coming into the market open and then once the market opens once i figure out what i want to do here uh then we can talk about the daily plan etc might end up killing this though we got a minute left i'm really just looking for like a 10 point flush to get out of that last contract so this one would be a scratch trade and then have one runner i'm out too close to the market open for me I think we flush out here, um, at least a little bit, but too close to the market open. Take my 175 and move on. Good morning. Welcome. Hope you are uh, having a good day. Okay, so I would have gotten the, there's the, to the tick, essentially. That's the original play that I wanted to see. I wanted to see it play out before market open. Um, and then would have taken out this contract and then would have had one runner here. And I was looking for like about, I'll show you what I was looking for. I was looking for this, this little spot right here. Uh, so I was looking at 511. Uh, make sure you press the thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Click the red subscribe button if you haven't as well. Um, news wise, uh, we had some stuff coming out at 730. Uh, we have Chicago PMI at 845, nine o'clock also pending home sales. Uh, and then we got pal talking this afternoon at noon 30. So uh, fairly stacked hump day. Still got sellers here. Uh, I want to see what happens at 511. Mostly just from the uh, five minute structure. I think 511, 507, all that's definitely in play. And then obviously like 497 overnight lows are definitely in play. But right now it's just chopping. I'd like to see the ES probably push point and control here to clear out this block and see what the NAS does with that. Again, the NAS just seems to be having a little bit more strength than the ES right now. So I want to be careful doing any shorts here, but we are right around value area high on the day, which is also where we've been getting slapped over and over again. But we could obviously just run 82 right now and okay there's 60 running through it just slightly naz also pushing through with it not a really good opportunity other than the candle open to get back into this thing we got some sellers coming through i'm just gonna go ahead and get short here the uh i feel, I feel like the move is happening without me and i want to participate a little bit i got short right at volume actually a pretty shitty fomo entry not gonna lie I'm going to give it just a little bit of time here. It needs to, if it doesn't happen very quickly, I'm going to kill this thing because I don't actually don't like this entry uh, with it being right at volume like that. I'd rather yeah, reevaluate here. I'm going to take the L there. Uh, 150. I just, that was a very much a FOMO entry and I shouldn't be sitting in a FOMO entry straight up. Whether it works out or not, I should be, I should have been getting in at 70, not at 63. Hey, you said you wanted to participate. I did say I wanted to participate. I just wanted to participate higher. <laughs> I didn't want to participate at point of control. I didn't want to participate where all of the volume was. 